<laughs> yes, just this, thank you. Well, that takes care of that. Now to head on to... Do my eyes deceive me? No. They most certainly do not. Oh, by the divine, he saw me. I act like you didn't see him and keep walking. Just keep your hood up, head down, and keep walking. Oh, blast it all, it's coming this way. Run! Oh. Oh, perhaps just a small chance. I'll lose him in the crowd. Oh, please, divine one of the heavens, may this man fall into a ditch somewhere! Ugh. You just had to chase me, didn't you? No, do not touch anything. Well, I don't want whatever you have to get on my things. There. Wait, where's the shard? I, I know I had it here somewhere. Oh, uh, yes, <clears throat> that one. Yes, I still have your little friend. Uh, if you must know, I'm going to get it further researched. I've done all I can, but I simply do not have the proper means of going any further than what I've managed to get out of this. And it is certainly not very much. Now that you've done your duty in giving my feathers a good ruffle, I bid you farewell. Ugh, will you stop following me? Go save a damsel in distress and leave me alone. Go! Oh, don't give me that look. No means no. My word is final, you aimless drifter. By the heavens, how can a man like that be so easily wounded? He's nothing but a little lost mutt. <sighs> Matilda, what are you doing? I don't know. All right, all right, come back. You may join me if it would so please you. Oh, goodness, um, get off of me. First, you are carrying this and this. How did I carry all of that? <laughs> My dear fellow, when your very livelihood saves your life, you tend to get used to carrying a little extra without complaint. Oh, come on. And here we are. Ugh, just as over the top as I remember. Let me do the talking. Well, well, if it isn't Percy, old friend, I- Percy! Who's at the door? Oh, heavens above, brace yourself. <gasps> Matilda, darling! Oh, mwah! Mwah! <clears throat> My lady. Oh, and who is this? <gasps> Finally caught one, I see. Oh, uh, <clears throat> no, no, my lady. He's, he's my, uh, my, um, protege. Oh, how charming. Stop gawking at her ring and kiss her hand. <laughs> oh my, my, my curious one, this was my beloved from his father and his father's father, 
and his father's father's father. Yes, ma'am. This is a highly valued heirloom, I'm sure. That it is. Come, come. You must see the place and reunite. My sincerest apologies, my lady. But we are here strictly on business. My our intentions were to speak with your alchemist, Mrs. Ingram. Oh, her. Yes, she still lives, the old witch. I do hope this little expedition isn't too serious. That I do not know for sure, which is why I need the opinion of another. Of course, of course. Percy! Please direct Matilda and her man to the- Thank you, my lady, but I do believe we will manage on our own. Six years has done nothing to my memory of this handsomely exaggerated estate. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Happy hunting. Percy! Where's the book I had in my hand yesterday? Oh, make haste before she thinks of something else. <sighs> By the divine one, my head throbs. That was Madame Fiddlebite, the lady of the estate. She took over just after Lord Fiddlebite left this world not two winters back. He's the one that got away, if you ask me. Oh, she was heinous, just like any other woman of entitled nobility. She once beat a young servant boy blind. He was late with the tea. How do I know? <laughs> he was my first patient, actually. Mm -hmm. Helped him use his hands. And now, he's making a fortune in story writing. <laughs> well, of course, he's not doing the writing part. <laughs> <sighs> Who'd have thought? But, Madame Fiddlebite has since become what you would call generous. I call it denial, and rather flamboyant to boot, for lack of a better word. Ah, this menacing threshold must indicate that we have arrived. Mrs. Ingram, this is Matilda and my protege. We wish to speak to you on a highly concerning matter. Oh! Heavens above! Matilda! It's been quite some time. I started to think you were dead. Oh, something sure smells like it. Nonsense! These are the vapors of juvenescence. Reminds me of my homeland in the harvest season. <sighs> <laughs> really? I feel as though my age is fleeting. You, open the window for pity's sake. No! My vapors! Oh, calm yourself, Mrs. Ingram. I've come with something that just might swipe your attention far more than a stew of death rolled over ever could. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Oh. Well, well, well. Aren't you a little beauty? Where did you obtain? Such a splinter. I had discovered it in this one's flesh. Come here. Hmm. Intriguing. And you're still alive? With my help, yes. Oh, he must have been in deep thickets to find you. You're lucky, my boy. Very lucky indeed. 
why you say, well, from what I can already see here, this is greased with a toxin related to one you'll find among the drow. I can almost physically see the question mark above your head. It is traditionally called Drydodius Blythelhine, more simply known as Stiffs. Ah, oh, Matilda, still as sharp as a double-edged sword, I see. You see, Dredodius Blythelhein, or Stiffs, is a highly potent toxic venom created and used by Dryders. However, Stiffs is not naturally produced within their systems alone. They take the venom, which was intended to merely numb their victims, and they put it through a process a fermentation, which then alters the venom into possessing a complete paralysis. Left with that proper treatment will result in nerve damage. And in more severe cases, complete loss of the limb or limbs. Should one's blood come in contact with such a toxin, their whole appendage will be a Still, as if it had been frozen completely solid, and therefore stopping blood flow entirely. The state in which I found you, dear wanderer, has truly puzzled me. By the books, you shouldn't be here right now. Quite right you are. Let me see. Hmm. This is most interesting indeed. My dear boy, you have any known enemies? More specifically, orcish enemies? Reason being is, from what I can see, this is made up of oricalcum and iron, which tells me this was no accident. No, no, no. You were targeted, and your life was attempted. From my knowledge of good and evil, if I were to strike at someone with a material as powerful as this is, it would not be in the amount of a splinter. A bounty, perhaps? Maybe you escaped somewhere, and you know too much. So their dirty little secret needs to be neutralized. Oh, no, no. No, no. I am not insinuating that you are some mad criminal. But you aren't sure. Oh, but you were sure enough to piss off one of the orcish descent. But we do not know for sure if the wielder of this weapon was of orcish descent or not. This could have been stolen or made in secret. Could be. If the wielder was skilled enough at the forge. This is fine craft. But that is unfortunately where my answers run dry. Well, what do you suppose we do? What? What do I mean? Listen carefully, Wanderer. Stiffs was used during the War of the North. Small amounts were applied to those in whom were captured and interrogated for information. Some poor fool decided it was a fabulous idea to use it in combat, and thus it was quickly deemed too dangerous and simply uncontrollable. You see, during the fermentation process, not only do its properties become abnormally enhanced, but the very consistency is changed from that of a liquid to that of a grease. Thus, 
making it dreadfully difficult to cleanse off without proper solution, never mind cleanse out. Fortunately for you, the culprit didn't seem to know what he was doing and only managed to get a small amount into you, the type that is used for interrogation. Which is why you could barely lift your head when I found you. Oh, this all looks incredibly bad for us. Taking this before the throne will have us cast into the dungeons. Here, your best lead is to travel to the stronghold of Long Gognoz behind the Grey Mountain. Wait, stronghold? There! Oh, my child, you have to get out more. <sighs> oh, did I say it was your fault, Wanderer? I know I would have figured this out without you here, but right now I need someone to glare at. <sighs> Very well. We shall leave at once and stop along the way if needed. Coffee! And I am not lingering here a moment longer. I understand. <laughs> Out the window. Head straight east. And once you get to the forest, and you will happen upon the main road. And you'll be on your way without the knowledge of her ladyship. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Ingram. I owe you. Oh, any time, child, any time. You two have fun! <laughs> <laughs>